We've all gotten stuck in a rut at some point in our lives. I've heard it said that a rut is really just a grave with both ends knocked out. My Aunt Carolyn was really kind of my mentor when it came to artwork. She used to drag me when I was 12 years old out into the hinterlands around Mexico City and give me a brush and a canvas and teach me how to paint. And she was an artist and she was a good artist. She did portraits and landscapes and that sort of thing. But eventually she bought a piece of property in Key West, Florida. Good news was that she got it for a really good price. The bad news was that it was a corner lot and people would walk across the corner of her property and wear a groove in it. I think it was the shortest distance between the liquor store and the trailer park. And every Monday morning, she would have to go out there and pick up bottles and broken pieces of glass and trash cleaning up her front yard. She started taking the bottles and the broken pieces of glass that she picked up on Monday morning and began to create this clever Dr. Zeus stained glass phantasmagorical fence that became a work of art. As she proceeded down 60 feet on one side of her property and 30 feet on the other, she was running out of bottles, but the neighbors and people in the neighborhood noticed her bottle wall and began contributing. Eventually, she completed this fantastic stained glass piece of art, and it became a Key West stopping point. The conch train that was a tour train that traveled around Key West would stop at her street corner and point out the Key West bottle wall. She took what most people would consider garbage and turned it into a work of art. Now, she was an accomplished artist. She did a good job painting portraits and landscapes, but she was never world renowned. But her bottle wall became an international point of interest for people that travel to Key West. Wherever I've told this story, I'll have at least one or two or more people come up to me and tell me that they remember seeing the Key West bottle wall. What can we learn from that? Take what people consider a discard or a reject or something broken or something unusable in your life, some experience that you would rather not have there and turn it into a positive, something that can transform not your life only, but the life of people literally all over the world.